In this video, I am going to show you how to do the setup of your Epson Rapid Receipt RR70W wireless scanner with the Windows laptop. So you have to charge your scanner. Once it is sufficiently charged, then go to your Windows laptop. Go to the web browser and type in www.epson.com slash sport slash rr70w and then click on the search button scroll down and look for your scanner so once you see your scanner click on it so it should be on the epson.com and on the main screen you will see the scanner photo if you scroll down it will display operating system and recommended drivers so download the drivers and utility combo package installer open file start installation accept terms and conditions and you can deselect or select these options and click next select the first option connect via wireless network Wi-Fi and click next now go to your scanner we have to move the wireless button to the right hand side so wireless button is here with the Wi-Fi on the top so move it to the right hand side and also switch on the scanner so move the power button to the right hand side and the white light will start to flash now go to your laptop go to the laptop screen and click next so connect your laptop with the USB cable and your scanner with the other end click on the next click next click next it will ask you to connect for the Wi-Fi network give the permission yes setup is complete now we have to disconnect the USB cable unplug the USB cable click next if you want you can do a test scan or we can finish the setup so click on the next and I'm just going to skip the test scanning if you want you can update the software or click on the finish so this way we can install the drivers and do the wireless setup of this scanner with the windows laptop now you can close all the windows and whenever you want to do the scanning you can simply place a page in the scanner for example I'm just going to scan a photo now go to your laptop and open the Epson scan 2 app on the top of the app you will see the scanner if you don't see your scanner you can just scroll down and then look for it you can make some changes if you want and then click on the scan icon so this way we can do the complete setup of the scanner and we can start using it for wireless scanning using windows laptop or a pc thanks for watching